So I'm pretty much done. I hate to see him go, but I'm really glad to see him leave. Because he will run through you. Well, right, what do you think? 
I think they're just going to send some OG Kush or Purple Herbal to uh, his mailbox and see what will happen. Uh, really, Ricky Williams, he can definitely bring it. Ronnie Brown, he can bring it. They're both dangerous backs. But what really matters is uh, our Carrington, uh, Williams, Stroud, are they going to get the job done? Uh, same with Spencer Johnson. That whole crew, they need to get it done up front, along with all the different linebackers, including... Uh, Rookie sensation at this point, uh, Arthur Moats. <laughs> yeah, the moat. All right. Um, across the moats. Yeah. Um, do the Dolphins have an air attack, Kia? Yeah. Not really, because, I mean, who are their receivers? Is Brandon Marshall still playing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's, I guess, gotten his act together and he's playing. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying you don't really hear, they don't have, like, a big receiver, so... I mean, if our linebacker, I mean, if our uh, if our DBs can do their job, then their their air attack won't even be an issue. It looks like another game, just like Cleveland, where you have a, a quarterback that ain't that great, receivers that don't do crap, and you got to just stop the running game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think it, we it, can actually win this game, and the Dolphins not lose it. Like last week, we actually won the Cleveland game. Cleveland didn't lose that game. Yes, I agree with that. I we're actually on agreement. What the hell is wrong with this? <laughs> Maybe it's the Pringles. <laughs> All right, um, now it's time for uh, a topic of discussion. Nakia uh, like to talk about this. Obviously, Sports Center was at a love fest with Brett Favre. So Brett Favre. Brett Favre. Brett Favre. <laughs> the Bills ending Favre streak. Nakia, what do you have to say about this? I probably would not have had a problem with this maybe like three or four years ago. But at this point, you, you never want to see anybody in their career on an injury. But at this point, it's like, please don't come back. Put him on IR. Let him go. Let him retire and just not come back. It was, great. <laughs> it was great for 20 years. He probably should have been gone about three or four years ago. Never should have went to the Jets. That should have been the end of it. So I'm pretty much done. hate to see him go, but I'm really glad to see him leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you think? I'm actually surprised that he didn't get suspended this year for, uh, what, hara sexually harassing the yeah. cheerleader, sending no, pictures she's of Brett Favre. No, she was an employee. She, she was wasn't a cheerleader. She was uh, a Jets employee. All right, no, all right. She, I thought no, she was, no, she was an employee. She, she was an employee. Well, be that as a he was sending pictures of his penis to her. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not exactly a good thing. If that was anyone else in the NFL, he would have been suspended. So I'm very surprised the NFL... Well, not really surprised because their discipline system's all screwed up. But uh, yeah, I, I'm surprised it didn't end there. But hey, Arthur Motes, you don't cross the Motes. <laughs> no, you do not. Far. I love how in the locker room the Bills are actually screwing around with uh, Motes, going, "Hey, Legend Killer," uh -huh. uh, and they're giving him Wranglers and stuff like that, <laughs> messing with him. So I think it's pretty cool, uh, and I think he's handled it pretty well too with the interviews that he's had. Uh, Maybe we could finally have him off the off of Sports Center, and maybe Sports Center could actually do some real reporting for a change. Maybe. Oh whoa. Yeah, I'm taking a shot at I ESPN. They hate, they hate the Bills, so we, we understand. Well, well, well yeah, that's based in like Connecticut. They're they're New England homers to begin with. All right, uh, now it's time for the keys and picks of the game. Um, my key to the game. Actually, I'll let you guys go first. <laughs> My key to the game, I think, is going to be running the ball. I think the Bills have to kind of stick to the running game to open up um, the passing game, especially with Evans. 112 yards out. last week, yes. Friday and then CJ had some carries too, yeah. Especially with um, Evans being out, they're really going to have to um, not even – they always run a lot, but they're going to have to run effectively. They aren't really effective with the run yet. All right, uh, what do you think? I'm going to go with a little bit of an off ball here. Get the tight ends involved. You know what? They were actually very much involved uh, against the Browns, and that's probably the first time I've seen that. Uh, you had David Martin and Stupar that were both getting some big passes. Unfortunately, the one big play by Stupar was the one that injured Evans. Mm -hmm. But be that as it may, I'll get the tight ends involved. All right, and mine's basically a uh, defensive thing because the Bills, they need to stop the run. Obviously, we talked about it, and... Um, if they continue what they did last week, OG Kush. then I think they'll be successful in uh, winning this game. Um, all right, now it's time for the picks of the game. And uh -huh. now I kind of picked the Bills to lose last time, or when I picked it like a couple minutes ago. But now I'm picking the Bills. But I will t I'll say the score I already put down. I picked the Bills to lose 17-23. to Nikio, cheers. I picked the Bills to win 24-17. And what about you? You stole my score. You cheater. 20-17, to Buffalo.
<laughs> They're gonna win this one. Alright, thank you for joining us this week. See you next week for the Pats. Brett Favre! Holy... <laughs>